Okay, Assalamualaikum and good evening everyone. So let's begin our class with Umi Kitab Al-Fatihah. Okay. Uh, can you see my slide? Boleh nampak tak? Boleh ni. Yes, madam. Okay, so um, before we move to uh, the new subtopic, okay, I mean the new, we, before we continue with our subtopic, Okay, so let's recap what you have learned last week. Okay, you have been introduced on assets and bases. Okay, uh, basically uh, you should be able to know the theories of assets and bases and then um, you know, already know the strength. Okay, strength of assets and bases. How to differentiate whether it's a stronger or weaker uh, acidic. Okay, and then maybe you boleh buat uh, dia punya trend, okay, from lower to higher strength, kan, okay. So, um, you belajar juga, okay, the, uh, if, let's say if you have base or if you have acid, you have to, apa, uh, okay, and I explain this one. Uh, uh, have a new uh, stigma where I, or maybe I can say that dulu mungkin kita assume that okay uh, for all, uh, for a basic uh, it only contains OH minus for acid it only contains uh, HO plus and now basically uh, actually you should know that uh, after you have learned okay last week you should know that now uh, acids or base they contain both HCO plus and OH minus. It's just that uh, whether the concentration of HCO plus or OH minus, which one are the stronger? Which one uh, have higher concentration? So, kalau ada higher, of course lah. Let's say HCO plus, you have higher concentration. So, of course, it means that it is an acidic solution. Or if you have uh, more OH minus concentration, it means that you have basic Basic concentration. Okay. So, you jangan terkejut lah. Let's say macam, okay, kita tahu dah dia base. But then suddenly I ask you, what is the concentration of HCO plus? Uh, actually, ada. You boleh cari kan? Uh, okay. So, that's why uh, now you belajar nak buka mata sikit lah eh. Buka minda. Yang actually, it's not just you need to find the OH minus for base. Okay. Maybe you can find... Um, more than that lah. Okay. So, uh, you belajar juga uh, the value of Ka and Kb, right? Okay. So, uh, it is the apa, equilibrium uh, constant for acid and base. And we also have Kw and then we have Pka, Pkb, Pkw. What is P? P is uh, actually the negative log. Okay. So, same goes to pH and POH, right? Okay. pH is negative log HCO plus while POH is negative log HCO plus. So, itu semua you belajar last week. Okay. So, before kita sambung, okay, I need to have some, uh, there's some correction actually for the chat point. Chat point number four. Ini sebelum pH, POH lagi eh. Ini kita belajar pasal KA, KB lagi. Okay. So remember this question uh, ask you uh, to write the constant of KA. Okay. Yang ni saya ada betulkan. So I prefer to have HCO plus right. Okay. Okay HCO plus. And then the B sebelum ni ada another ions. Okay. Saya dah cancel kan. Ini saya dah betulkan lah. Okay. I think this one we have no issue on this. It's uh, on C part. Part C eh. The equation, ah, ada pembetulan dekat equation. Actually equation yang ada dalam you punya uh, yang previous lah eh, saya dah lupa. Saya rasa HCO plus. It's not wrong actually, sebenarnya tak salah. Acid campur base boleh je ada reaction kan. HCO plus campur NO2 minus is conjugate base. Actually it's correct but then kita just nak tunjuk nak bagi you get familiar first where we know that water can act as amphoteric kan. 
So it, it can act as either a base or acid. So in this case, since NO2 minus is the conjugate base, okay, from the nitrous acid, okay? Ni ion dia, so conjugate base, so this is base lah. So water here will act as acid. Rasanya previously dia HCO plus kot tak silap saya. Dia bukan salah, you akan pakai later lah. But this one, kita nak you try fahamkan dulu. Sebab ni baru introduction kan. So kita baru nak you fahamkan. So we put as water lah kita. So we change the equation eh. So you will get an HNO2. I think this one is correct. Okay, this one. Later you will get OH minus. Okay, so it's actually considered that okay, this is base, but you produce juga OH minus kat sini. Okay, ah, kat sini je lah ada sedikit lah pembetulan eh uh, for the checkpoint number four. Okay, yang ni kita dah discuss kan. Lepas tu kita dah masuk sikit 3.3.1. Okay. <coughs> And I still, I hope you still remember lah eh, the relationship between HCO plus and OH minus, the pH and the pOH. Okay, remember eh, the uh, the concentration HCO plus, you multiply the uh, OH minus is equals to the KW which is equals to 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14. Ini formula dia kan? Or for like this one is actually pH plus POH is equals to 14. Okay. So ni dia punya relationship. Okay. So apa yang you belajar lah? Sweet basically adalah mainly only I mean uh, introduction lah, pengenalan on pH and pOH for 3.3.1 eh And then calculation pun just very basic calculation lah Okay, ni pun kita dah pergi kan So now kita akan pergi lebih specific Okay, where how to, uh, how to calculate the pH of strong acids from base And also weak acid with base Okay, we, we need to separate this one because the calculations are different for strong acid from base, it's much more easier, okay, uh, not as complicated as uh, weak acid with base. I would say not really complicated sebenarnya for weak acid. Benda ni you dah apply actually dalam chapter 2, uh, chemical equilibrium, weak acid with base eh. But then again, dia uh, step the uh, lebih panjang lah daripada strong acid from base. Okay, so we move uh, uh, one by one eh. So for pH of strong acid from base, eh? so the concentration of hydronium ion or HCO plus or hydroxide OH minus in a solution of strong acid or base is related to the stoichiometry of the acid or base. Faham tak? Dia sama macam you buat stoichiometry lah. You are the acid or base, you dissociate kan dia. Remember, I, I hope you still remember eh, you, you learned this one last uh, last week. In the introduction, uh, acid, <coughs> strong acid completely dissociate. What does it mean by completely dissociate? Dia acid you masuk dalam air, dia akan uh, dissociate apa? Dia terurai. Uh, dia, dia pecah, dissociate into ions completely, 100%. Dia pecah-pecah lah, dia takkan patah balik. Means that kalau HCl, dia masuk dalam air, dia completely dissociate, the arrow itself give the meaning that this is 100% dissociate. Means that dia takkan patah balik menjadi asid. So dia akan pecah, uh, okay, dissociate into Cl- and also HCO+. Kalau you check sebenarnya equation ni basically it's look, it looks like a bronsted lowry equation. It's just that it has a no reversible error. Okay. So bila you dah, you dah dissociate kan dia, okay, bila dia kata the concentration tu related to the stoichiometry of acid and base means that if this is one mole, so of course another, uh, others are, uh, if there is uh, also one mole means that the concentration also are similar. Yang penting mesti balance lah kan. Okay, so acid dalam kes ni memang one mole to one mole ratio. So if HCl is one molar, so it means that Cl minus also one molar, H2O plus also one molar. In this case, we are focusing on H3O plus. Why? Because for we are we are now talking about acidity and basicity, right? So we are talking about pH. Remember, 
pH, we want to calculate negative log of HCO plus. Kalau POH, we want to calculate the value of negative log OH minus. So that's why kalau dalam equation, yang kita nak cari is actually HCO plus or OH minus. It's not the concentration of HCL or uh, NOH. No. Kita bukan nak, pH sebenarnya kita bukan tengok itu. Kita tengok value of OH minus and also HCO plus. Itu uh, satu lagi stigma yang you kena uh, buka sikit lah eh. Minda you kena buka sikit. Sebenarnya kita bukan tengok HCL. Kita tengok H3O plus. Okay, kita tak tengok NOH, kita tengok OH minus. Okay, so clear eh. So this is wrong acid, strong acid. Let's say strong base. NOH, dissociate ni water. Okay, NOH kita tak buat tambah macam ni kan. Sebab nanti macam mana you nak balance kan? Complicated pula. Okay, so at just water, dia dissociate menjadi ion, OH minus and also Na plus. Okay, again you tengok, balance kan? Ratio is one to one. So means that if NOH is one molar, of course the OH minus is also one molar and A plus also is one molar. So now we are focusing on this OH minus. Sebab ini yang memberi akan bagi value you untuk POH where from POH you can find pH. Okay, kita tak tengok dah sebenarnya yang lain-lain tu. Yang penting OH dengan HCO plus. Okay, how about barium hydroxide? Barium hydroxide also considered as strong base right? Okay, metal group 2 hydroxide. Right, so this is strong base. If you dissociate the uh, the barium hydroxide, okay, uh, hundred percent uh, hundred percent dissociation, completely dissociate. But if you balance the equation, the OH minus will become two OH. The mole is two, while Ba two plus is one. So it means that. The ratio now to the barium hydroxide is 1 to 2 ratio. So it means the OH minus is 2 molar. So that's why you need to be careful especially uh, metal group 2 ni lah. Okay metal group 2 semua OH kat situ dalam kes ni adalah 2 molar. So it means that the concentration is uh, 2 times of the concentration of the um, substance dia tu. The concentration of OH minus. Okay? So clear <coughs> Then we look at this example. So how to calculate? Tadi kita, kita tengok, okay. So kita dah tahulah based on equation kan. So now how to calculate the concentration of hydronium ion, the HCO plus and also hydroxide ion. And the pH. Okay, dia tak pH juga. With this concentration. Okay. First of all, you need to know whether this is strong acid, strong base, weak acid or weak base. Okay. Nitric acid. Okay. Basically nitric acid, this is oxy acid kan. Ada oxygen pun ada banyak. Okay. We can consider that this is a strong acid. Okay. So kita buat satu-satu lah. Kita buat A dulu. First thing first, actually you tak boleh lari daripada equation. You need to write an equation. Dissociation of acid. Okay. So we have HNO3. Dissociate in water. HNO3 plus water. Remember, arrow is single arrow. Okay, it's, it is not reversible because it is 100% completely dissociate. It will become NO3 minus and also HCO plus. The one that you want to calculate is this one. Hydronium ion. And also the value of pH. And also you have to find the hydroxide ion. So macam mana ni? Tak ada OH minus. Macam mana nak cari hydroxide? Uh, use the formula. Okay. So tengok dulu solution. Every mole of HNO3 contributes to one mole. Betul tak? Betul tak? Betul kan? Sini satu mole. So sini pun satu. So one to one ratio. So if this is 0 0.15, so this is also 0 0.15. 1.5 lah sebab dia 1 to 1 ratio. So kat sini settle dah. You have calculated the hydronium ion. Okay. And then how about the hydroxide ion? Ah, uh, Jangan pula ni yang saya cakap you have to open your mind that the acid still contains OH minus. Okay. Tapi macam mana nak cari? Tak ada OH kan kat sini. 
Kan kita tahu kita ada equation right? Okay. So we have this equation. KW equals to HCO plus times OH minus. So you dah dapat HCO plus. KW kan constant. So dapatlah cari OH minus. Okay. So dapatlah kat situ 6.7. Actually you can check here. Okay. Ada salah, ada satu cara juga nak check kan. Eh? We know that nitric acid Nama pun nitric acid. So this is acid right? Okay 0.15 bola. Bila you kira OH minus it logically the value should be very very low lah. Tahu tak? Dah lah the strong acid. 0.15 tu consider tinggi lah juga concentration kan. So patutnya yang OH minus kena rendah lah. So logically kalau you kira ha, tengok rendah kan. The concentration is 6.7 times 10 to the power of negative 14. Ha, betapa rendahnya concentration dia. Ha, tapi dia bukan tak ada eh. Dia ada kan. Okay. So that's why we know that this is acidic lah kan. Lepas tu okay. Now we know that the hydro, we, we already calculated the hydrogen ion. Now we want to calculate the pH. So pH remember the formula is negative log HCO plus. So mana HCO plus tadi 0.15 kan. So 0.15 darat lah. You dapatlah 0.8. Ha, nampak tak kat sini? Before this, satu lagi lah, you have to open your mind. Jangan terkejut where maybe you calculate pH tu, eh, less than 1, macam logic ke? Selalu kita buat pH kan 1 until 14 je. Ah Boleh je, that's why calculation ni dia akan lebih tepat lah. Theoretically, you boleh dapat pH uh, acid tu even up to negative value. You boleh dapat up uh, to negative value. Means that below than zero. Boleh sebenarnya. By calculation. Okay. So again, uh, similar uh, methods for uh, B, uh, calcium hydroxide. Okay, it's just that. That's why kenapa saya don't mention tadi, start dengan equation. Okay, especially um, basic lah, strong base. Because uh, for example here, Kita tengok pun okay, this is a metal from group 2, right? Okay, if you write the equation, okay, actually the OH minus, the mole ratio is 2. Even though this is 1 mole. So the ratio is 1 to 2. So maknanya kalau kat sini concentration dia 0 0.01, kat sini dah jadi 0 0.02. Okay, so you need to be careful here. That's why equation is very very important lah in this case. And again lah, this is the uh, single arrow, okay, only one direction here, only to the product. So it means that this is completely dissociate, okay, 100% dissociate. Dia tak ke batal balik eh. Okay, so dah dapat OH minus. Now kat sini kita dapat OH minus dulu. And then you can calculate hydronium ion also by using the same formula KW eh. Cari lah. <coughs> so ni akan jadi terbalik. Logik dia you punya OH 0 0.02. So logiknya HCO plus you akan dapat rendah. Ha, betul tak? HCO plus eh. Ha, nampak rendah lah tu. 10 kuasa negatif 13. Kan logik lah. This is base. Strong base pula tu kan. So of course concentration pun. Concentration of HCO plus mesti sangat-sangat rendah lah. Okay. So lepas tu bolehlah cari pH. So negative log. Remember eh. Tak kisahlah ni acid ke ni base ke when the question ask you the pH you must see negative log HCO plus even though this is base. Okay ah that's why uh, benda baru jugalah pada saya eh benda yang you belajar macam you baru oh rupanya pH ni untuk HCO plus je. Sebab mana dia macam kat luar kedai ke apa uh, apa uh, jual cuci muka ke selalu ke pH 5.5 ke apa. Mana ada orang cakap POH betul tak? Orang cakap PH. Sebab tu yang common orang pakai kan. Ha, padahal sebenarnya dia boleh cari POH. Ha, so that's why kat sini selalu soalan pun bolehlah dia nak tanya POH. Tapi soalan boleh tanya biasanya dia akan tanya PH kan. Sebab awak dah terbiasa dengan PH. So kita tahu more than 7 PH is basic. Kalau less than 7 acidic. How about POH? Sama juga tapi dia jadi terbalik lah. Okay, so in this case the pH is more than 7. How about the pH? POH? POH should be less than 7. Kali ikut logik lah. Okay, dia akan jadi terbalik. 
Okay, cuba jawab ni. Checkpoint 7. 2 molar and 0 0.3 molar. Calculate dia nak semua. Ah, now dia nak juga POH. <coughs> cuba jawab jap. Nanti kita check jawapan. Sebab ni tak ada final answer kan. Okay uh, Saya assume dah je lah eh. You boleh check lah sebab actually this is only the straightforward nak nak check whether You nak familiarkan you dengan um, The process on how to calculate the HO plus, the PH, the OH minus and also the POH eh. So for 2 molar dulu, kena buat dua-dua lah eh. For 2 molar and also 0 0.3. So 2 molar Again, I advise you, okay, walaupun dalam ni tak ada, I advise you to write the equation first. Dissociation of nitric acid, okay. So, HNO3 plus water, okay, single arrow. So, this is a strong acid, right? Okay, produce NO3 minus plus HCO plus. Okay, so this, this is a one-to-one -one ratio. So, this, this is two molar. So the value of HCO plus also 2 molar. Okay. So the pH you just negative lock on this value. Ha, nampak tak ke sini? Neg negative 0 0.3. The pH means that it's very very acidic. Okay. So the OH minus you can just calculate lah using the formula. Okay. So you tengok ke sini. You boleh double check macam saya cakap tadi. The value of OH minus concentration is very very low. 10 to the power of negative 15. Okay. And then after that, you can calculate the POH lah. Okay, 14.3. Salah satu lagi cara, let's say lah, um, contoh eh, you dah stop sampai sini kan. Sebab kebetulan dia nak semua, okay. You dah dapat POH kan, contoh eh. Okay, this is step number one, step number two kan. Instead of step number three, ah, ni step number three, step number four, okay. Step number three A, atau eh. You also can use formula apa? Lagi senang lah. Saya suka lagi cara ni sebenarnya. Plus POH equals to 14. Okay. So equals to 14. You dah ada PH. So this is negative 0 0.3. So plus POH. You akan dapat 14. POH you akan dapat sama dengan jawapan. Okay. Lepas tu you still kena cari uh, the OH minus lah. Dia ikut lah eh, ikut cita rasa sendiri you nak guna method yang mana. Jadi kita tak ada halangan pun lah. Yang penting you kena tahu dua-dua dua, dua method lah basically. Okay so same goes to this one 0.3 so sama ya. Eh? 
Okay, this is the value for HO plus. So this is the value for pH. The OH minus, of course, sebab ni 0.3 kan. So OH minus akan tinggi sikit je lah. Negative 14 kan. Okay, so the POH is 13.48. I hope sama eh dengan you all. Sebab saya tak tak tekan calculator lah. Okay, yang penting konsep tu betul. Okay, so tadi untuk strong acid, strong base tau. Uh, it, it straightforward je. Straightforward means that uh, bila you dissociate ratio ataupun stoichiometry ratio tu according to the equation. Kalau dia dua kali ganda, you darab dua je lah. Lepas tu baru cari dia punya negative log. Okay. But for weak acids and bases, dia ada macam extra steps basically. Dia bukanlah uh, susah, dia renyah lah sikit sebab dia ada extra steps. Because the weak acid with base, I hope you still remember juga last week, I explained that weak acid with base is only partially dissociate. Kan? Dia dissociate uh, not, so tak boleh nak cakap 50%, dia tak semestinya, dia ikut lah eh. Uh, that's why we call it as partially. Okay, partially it can be either 90%, 80%, 70%, 20%. Uh, kita tak tahulah. Depends lah. Okay. So bila partially dissociate ataupun kita panggil incomplete dissociation. So that's why contoh kat sini. Acetic acid. Okay. Acid kan masuk dalam air. Acid ni akan dapat apa? Conjugate base dia. Dia akan dapat CHCO minus, right? Dia akan donate H plus kepada H2O. H2O akan jadi HCO plus. So kalau you perasan kat sini, the equation mesti guna reversible arrow. Okay? Reversible arrow. Kalau you tengok tadi, strong acid, strong base, single arrow sahaja. Okay? Dia tahu kenapa, kenapa saya tekankan banyak kali ni sebenarnya Kadang-kadang uh, kalau student, oh masuk exam ni, masuk exam Selalunya in exam or in test, okay um, For acids eh, kalau dia suruh calculate, dia takkan bagi equation Selalunya lah uh, Never say that it won't give Kuat uh, lah dia nak bagi, uh, Alhamdulillah Tapi selalunya tak bagi because of normally uh, Uh, equation itu akan masuk dalam under working solution and it will give you mark. Okay. If you write correct reactants and product but you give wrong apa tu? Error you punya equation tetap salah. Means that for this uh, we as we base kan? You buat equation betul dah ni. Tapi you lupa error you buat single error saja. Ah uh, maka salah terus. Sebab maka equation biasanya uh, one or zero. One tu mesti betul semua. Kalau salah sikit pun zero terus. Dia tak akan dapat setengah-setengah. Tak ada. Equation memang macam tu. Equation is very strict lah for equation eh. So that's why saya cakap banyak kali tadi eh. Strong acid, single arrow. Strong base, single arrow. Weak acid, weak base, baru reversible. How to know uh, weak acid ke, strong acid ke? Okay, sekejap lagi saya akan explain. Kita buat kita tak masuk lagi contoh soalan eh. Okay. Yang penting kita faham. Uh, the dissociation bila dia not completely. So the concentration are not similar. Kalau tadi senang. Sini satu molar. Sini pun satu molar. Sini satu molar. But now because it is not completely dissociate. When this is one molar. This is not necessarily one molar. Ni. Especially yang ni lah HO plus. Sebab kita nak calculate pH kan. So. It will become actually less than one molar. Okay. Same goes to ammonia. Sama lah with base eh. With base ammonia tambah water. Water kat sini jadi acid. So you akan dapat OH minus. This is conjugate base. So NH4 plus is conjugate acid. <coughs> Sama je. Dia tetap less than one molar. Okay. So macam mana nak kira kan. Okay now. Kita akan guna sebenarnya lah. Metod yang dah biasa juga guna. You guna dekat dalam chapter 2 which is ice table. Okay. Ice table and also we have another method which is alternative method. Basically alternative method pun sebenarnya datang daripada ice table. Saya akan tunjuk nantilah. Okay. So look at this example. Jangan tengok dulu ice table. Awak tengok soalan je. Ha, soalan asid base selalu macam ni je. Pendek je. Tapi soalan dia dalam bentuk ayat macam ni. Oh macam dia dah. Ha. Contoh eh. 
Nicotinic acid Okay baca balik soalan eh Nicotinic acid ha, Nampak tak complicatednya acid ni yang bendol ni kan ha, It's a form of vitamin B3 which is an essential human nutrient Calculate the pH Okay now dia nak pH Okay of 0.1 molar of nicotinic acid So this is what? This is initial concentration of nicotinic acid. Given Ka of this acid, ah, ni value dia. Okay. First thing first. What should what should you do? Write the acid dissociation. Dapat tak? Macam saya cakap tadi. Dia takkan bagi equation. Kalau dia bagi tu sangat baik hatilah. Soalan yang very straightforward kalau dia bagi. Dan so selalunya uh, equation ni termasuk dalam working solution. Equation is very 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 important. Ha, berapa banyak very tu? Okay, so Lepas tu cakap macam mana kita nak tahu eh ni weak acid ke strong acid Okay, dia macam ni Saya pun tak, saya pun tak pernah hafal Weak acid sangat banyak eh Weak acid ke weak base Kan kalau you buat ada conjugate-conjugate tu kan Conjugate acid, ah tu acid juga, tu tak Kalau ada conjugate base, base juga macam mana kan So, uh, apa yang saya cakap dengan student Selalu saya cakap macam ni Strong acid, strong base tak banyak. Yang you kena ingat adalah strong acid dan strong base. Strong base paling sikit. Strong base, metal group 1, metal group 2 and uh, hydroxide atau pooxide. Okay. Kalau strong acid, yang you refer balik notes yang you belajar last week, strength of acid, uh, yang ada oxic acid, yang ada few lah kan. Binary acid tu semua strong acid kan. Weak acid, satu lagi yang saya selalu cakap dengan student. Kalau dapat soalan, if the question give you the value of Ka or Kb for base, we can assume that that acid or base is weak. Acid or weak base, respectively. Okay, because of what? Last week, I did mention the value of Ka or Kb for strong acid or strong base is extremely large. Sangat-sangat besar sampai biasanya dia tak tulis pun Because of what? Kalau you apply balik Time bila you belajar value of K Chapter 2 kan? KC, KP Benda tu you belajar masa bila? Masa dia reversible error Betul? Equilibrium Strong acid, strong base Adakah dia ada reversible error? Tak ada kan? Dia straight dia Straight line saja. Apa straight line? One direction saja. Dia jadi produk saja. So kalau macam tu maksudnya kalau strong acid dia adalah produk saja. Macam tu kan. That's why value of Ka is very very big. So normally dia takkan bagi pun. So normally value of Ka ni given because you have the value of product over return. Okay. Tu so, cara saya ingat lah eh. Whether, cara saya nak tengok whether this is weak acid ke strong acid. Ha, macam tu. Okay. So macam mana pula nak beza weak acid ke weak base? Weak acid macam ni mungkin ni fact you lebih simple. Dia bagi tahu this is acid. Kalau lah dia tak bagi tahu kan. Ha, nanti kejap lagi kita tengok contoh yang base lah. Base basically weak base normally daripada amin. Amin group yang ada NH paling basic lah. NH ke N ada NO2 ke ha, macam ni. Amin, amin group eh. Okay. Itu adalah weak base. And satu lagi normally kalau dia bagi mesti dia bagi value of Kb. Ah uh, with base satu. Okay. Ni, ni cara cara saya lah eh. Cara saya untuk tengok whether dia uh, weak acid or weak base. Bila okay. Bila you dah tahu okay. Ni weak acid ni. Now that's why you need to write the equation. Sebab tu you kena tahu betul tak? You kena tahu dia weak acid ke weak uh, strong acid. Because from there you can write the Equation with reversible arrow. Okay. And then after that, apply balik what you have learned uh, during chapter 2, KC and KP. Okay. You use the ice table. You write the equation. Okay. You, when you write the equation, you get the value of initial concentration. This is this is the initial concentration, 0 0.1. How about water? Water is pure liquid. So, didn't take into the consideration for the expression. Okay. So this is H2O plus. Okay, ajak uh, kita tengok balik equation dulu eh. So this is acid. Okay, how about water? Sebab dia disosit dalam air kan. So that's why kita guna air je lah dalam kes ni eh. Water. So water here is automatically become base. Okay, satu lagi cara macam student kan. Macam, macam mana ya? Macam mana saya nak jadikan dia conjugate base? Uh, remember, every time acid dia akan buang apa? H plus. 
dia akan buang. So, you buang je satu H kat sini. Buang H. Okay, buang H kalau you perasan. Okay, ni you punya produk kan. H dah tak ada kan? Satu. So, tapi dia buang ada juga positive charge yang dia buang. Means that daripada neutral, you buang positive one, it will become negative one. Ha, itu satu lagi cara lah. Okay, cara senang you nak tulis. Okay, yang penting, H kena hilang satu, mesti ada negative charge. Kadang-kadang ada sudut buat H hilang dah tapi negatif tak ada. So salah juga. Okay. Lepas tu H2O you terima satu H plus kan. So that's why dia akan jadi H2O plus. Okay. So patah balik tadi. Then you buat ice table. 0.1 is the initial concentration for acid. Okay. So in this case water tak ada lah kan. Okay. So how that, how we know that H2O plus and uh, C6H4NO2 minus is zero. Okay. Sebab kita tak kira Q. Member kalau Q C K eh, sorry K P ke K C ke kita kena cari Q kan untuk tengok direction. Kan? Nak tengok dia ni negative x ke apa. Dalam kes ni dia zero because this is acid. Acid tu you masukkan dalam air dia dia akan disosiate jadi ion. So that's why ion ni automatically initially dia takkan ada pun. That's why the initial value dia zero. So automatically for acid dissociation or base dissociation is forward reaction. Okay, it is forward reaction means that at C you will get negative X for acid. So positive X for HCO plus and also positive X for the conjugate base of the acid. Okay, so the rest you buatlah macam biasa. It's just that, okay, before this, okay, uh, KC or KP kan? How about this one? So this is acid, right? Then given is KA. So if it's, if it is Ka now, eh jap. You letak SKA lah, expression you. Okay, so still sama product over reactant without water lah. Okay, then you expresskan dalam bentuk X kan. X square over one, uh, 0 0.1 minus X. Okay, lepas tu buat apa? Uh, guna kuadratik lah. Selalu kan kita guna kuadratik kan. In this case, okay, I would say normally eh, normally, not all, but normally for acids and bases, uh, the value of Ka and Kv is small. Okay. Sebab kalau dia large, normally untuk strong acid, strong base tadi kan. So kalau large biasanya dia tak pakai Ka, Kb. So that's why normally for value of Ka, Kb, dia small. So that's why we can neglect the value of negative x ni. The neglect. So 0.1, we assume that is equals to 0.1. Okay. So that's why kat sini kita ignore or neglect. Or you nak confirmkan lagi, remember you belajar ada simplifying assumption tu kan. Apa dia punya justification. Ada dua method, remember. The initial concentration of uh, KA lah dalam case ni. Should be more than 100 or apa? X over apa ya? Initial concentration. Times 100 mesti less than 5%. Error kan? Ha. Nak confirmkan lagi you have to calculate this one lah. Okay. So in this case kita nak simplify lah. Kita tunjuk kita abaikan. So you dapat value of X which is equal to HCO plus. Okay. In this case kita specific. Kita punya aim kita for acids is we want to find the HCO plus. Normally ion-ion lain tu kita tak nak tengok lah sebenarnya. Kalau KCKP kita nak tengok juga kan. It depends lah for the uh, on the question. But here kita nak lebih fokus kepada HCO plus. Dah dapat bolehlah kari. Uh, kari. Nak sebut cari jadi kari. Okay pH. Okay you calculate the pH. 2.92 eh. Okay. That one is. Uh, <coughs> apa kita panggil tadi? Ice table. Kan kita, saya cakap tadi ada dua method kan? Alternative method. Biasanya student bila dia dah tahu ada alternative method dia ambil yang ni. Sebab senang. Okay. Senang tu apa maksud dia? Masuk ke formula. HCO plus equals to square root C times Ka. Basically this this equation sebenarnya actually came from ice table. Okay. Tak Takpelah saya explain sebab nak suruh you faham juga. So as long as you faham kalau you buat formula pun tak ada masalah lah. Yang penting you faham eh. So the equation is acid, okay, in general lah, HA lah, any anion pun tak apa. 
uh, any anion of weak acid lah. Okay, HA plus water produce HCO plus plus A minus. So you have the ice table here. So C, C is the initial concentration kan? Okay, water tak adalah kan? So basically this value kosong. Tapi kita assume tak adalah, initial tak ada. So the value of C is negative X. Forward action kan? Acid, semua acid and base are forward action. Ha, ni senang sikit lah untuk acid base, semua forward. Kalau uh, kalau tajuk chapter 2, you kena double check. Dia forward ke dia reverse. Okay, so positive X, positive X. So C, C minus X, X, X. We are using alternative method ni basically sama juga. Macam yang tadi, we are using the simplifying method. Ni automatically, kita abaikan C tolak X ni, yang ini. Assume as C is equal to C. Where X is actually the value of concentration H2O plus ni lah kan. Okay. So, bila kita simplify kan, kita tahu dia product over return. So, X square over C minus X. Okay. Bila kita abaikan this one, means that you are kena apa-apa. Ka equals to x square over c. So now we want to find x, betul tak? x. Yang penting kita nak cari HCO plus, x. So you uh, rearrange, you get the x as a subject. Then you akan dapat, sebab ni square kan? You akan dapat dah ni square root c times Ka. So we know that x is HCO plus. So that's why lah formula HCO plus sama dengan x. Kalau perasan kan sebenarnya sama je macam yang tadi. <coughs> Bila kita guna simplifying assumption. So that's why kalau lah ada method alternative ni means that semualah acid base tu kita boleh simplify without using quadratic. Betul tak? Kalau ikut logik lah. Tapi sebenarnya kalau ikutkan ada tau. Ada sebenarnya yang tak boleh guna method ni. It's still that you need to double confirm by using the justification tadi lah. Yang ada dua method tadi ya, yang 5% error tu. Cuma saya boleh cakap um, dalam you punya syllabus yang sekarang lah eh. Um, kita tak nak fokus sangat untuk uh, nak, kita tak nak test you more on macam uh, ni uh, kena guna korati ke, kena guna, boleh guna simplify method. Uh, kita tak nak lah uji you benda tu. Yang penting kita nak uji you faham cara you nak kira value of pH and also to get the uh, value of HCO plus. So checkpoint number eight. <coughs> Cuba kira jap. I'll give you one to two minute. Ah sekejap je ni. Dia nak apa? Dia nak pH. Cuba kira. Okay dah. <coughs> Sebab masa kita terhad sikit kat sini. Okay sebenarnya simple je. Dia nak pH supposedly uh, negative log HCO plus lah. Kita tahu sebab pH formula dia mesti ni. Kan? Okay. So means that you have to find a HCO plus. Now tak ada pula HCO plus. Yang ada apa? Ada mass, ada molar mass, lepas tu ada volume. Means that dia panjang sikit lah betul tak? Method dia. Maksudnya you have to find Uh, the concentration first, okay. So, lepas tu macam okay. 
Kalau this is a strong acid means that after you find the concentration you boleh terus masukkan kat sini. But is this a uh, weak acid or strong acid? Macam saya cakap lah, let's say lah you tak, you tak tahu lah ni strong acid ke weak acid. Ah, hint dia, you tengok. Dia bagi dah sebenarnya value of Ka kat sini. So biasanya lah eh, biasanya. I would say normally uh, when they give the value of Ka and then you tengok kat sini negative 4, negative lah maksudnya kan. Maksudnya this 0.000 kan. So means that it is a weak acid. Okay, so you tak boleh simply masukkan HCO plus dekat dalam negative log tu. So you have to find Uh, you have to use ice table ataupun alternative method tadi ya. Eh? So in this case, simplify kan lah. Nak senang kan? Biasa student akan terus ambil method ni lah. Okay. So um, of course lah you need to find the molarity dulu. So molarity is this one. Okay. Mole over molar mass. So this is a molarity for aspirin also similar to the molarity of the initial. Ha, kat sini. Tempat dia kat mana? Dekat C ni. Okay. Ha, ni tempat dia initial concentration right. So ada uh, value of Ka you masukkan lah you will get the value of HCO plus and then you will get the value of pH 2.96 eh. Okay so same goes to wheat base eh. Basically sama je method dia okay. Saya boleh laju sikit kat sini. Just that maybe uh, macam saya cakap kalau lain dapat soalan eh. Soalan dia pasti dia bagi macam ni je. Okay you have imagine you have to imagine yang dia tak akan bagi equation. Uh, gambar mesti lah. Of course lah structure ni pun normally dia tak bagilah. Tapi you nampak lah kat sini betapa kompleks dia benda ni kan. Macam ni kita nak tahu kan. Okay. Morphine eh. Basically uh, dia adalah weak base. Satu macam saya cakap weak base normally dia adalah daripada amine group ataupun yang ada nitrogen kat situ. So you nampak kat sini. Ada nitrogen eh. Lepas tu satu lagi dia bagi pula value of Kb of morphine. Okay this is a weak base lah basically. Ha, ni memang pasal dia dah bagilah. This is a base. Okay. So first thing first you need to write the equation. So when you have base, okay, we know that okay this is base. So we know that base basically akan accept proton. Okay ni acid kan. So bila dia accept proton, dia akan terima H plus. Dia akan terima at H plus. So kalau kat sini kita cari H dekat mana? Dia guna molecular formula kan? You tambah je lah. So sini 19, 19H okay means that here it will become H20. Okay but remember we must add the positive value, positive charge. So you have to add positive kat situ. Okay and remember again this is weak base so the arrow should be reversible arrow. Okay. Satu lagi keyword dia, weak base. Okay. Product you mesti ada OH minus. Kalau you perasan weak acid tadi, your product should be, ada tadi ice table, should be H3O plus. Kalau dia acid. Dapat tak? Actually banyak hint kat sini tau. Dia H3O plus. Okay. Ni acid, ni mesti H3O plus. Okay. Lepas tu dia, lagi satu dia dapat anion. Kalau dia base, kalau dia base, okay kita tahu ni base, ini mesti OH minus. Dia satu lagi ni mesti kat ion. So dia mesti ada um, apa kita panggil lah. Dia mesti ada relationship lah kat situ yang penting. Okay. Then the rest I think you know lah eh. Uh, just masukkan balik lah. So this is the initial concentration kan C. You masukkan kat sini. Okay. And ni kalau guna quadratic, uh, guna ice table lah. Again, okay, yang ni pun sama. Even you guna uh, ice table kat sini, we try to ignore the value of negative x. To simplify kan nak kira kan. Okay, so you will, will get the value of x. And remember, the x value now is the OH minus. Okay, soalan minta apa? Soalan minta PH, PH. Ah, KB, KB pula eh. Apa nak cakap? Base memang method dia akan ada one step further. Okay. Dia, you mesti ada extra step. Sebab you dapat OH minus. Now you nak uh, pH kan? So you need to find <coughs> oh, HCO plus. Okay. So you kira lah HCO plus guna formula ni. Okay. You kira you akan dapat pH. Negative log uh, HCO plus. You dapatlah value kat sini. Okay. So after that you can get the value of eh okay. oh, betul lah. Dah dapat sampai pH lah. Or ada satu lagi method. Bukan method lah. Step eh. 
Okay, kalau kat sini X, uh, X you dapat OH minus. HO plus U adalah 9.1 kan? Ataupun you boleh terus simplify kan daripada OH you get POH kan? Negative log OH minus daripada POH you dapat PH. Ah, Saya lagi suka cara yang ni lah. Means that kita tahu formula dia POH tambah PH is equals to 14. Where 14. Okay where this uh, PH is basically mesti sama dengan value yang you kira satu lagi. Either all lah eh. Mana, mana satu you nak kira lah. Okay and then sama juga even alternative method pun. Okay you boleh guna formula. It's just that apa yang you kena tukar. Tadi HUO plus. So this one you change the C. C pula. The X is uh, OH minus. Kalau dia base eh. Because of yang ni lah tadi. That's why kalau you nampak base kat sini. Kat sini mesti OH minus. Okay. So you change the uh, the X. The X here. Uh, sorry. Here. Uh, bukan. Okay. So you change the X. X will become uh, OH minus here. So that's why bila OH minus, you punya equation pun mesti KB. So kat sini that's why dia mesti KB. Okay, you ubah situlah. So sama juga step dia lah bila dapat OH minus. Means that here maybe you can find POH first. After that baru you find PH. Okay, boleh? Habis masa dah? Any questions so far? Ada soalan tak? Tak ada. Okay. Uh, by the way, you boleh try uh, jawab. Boleh try. Lepas tu saya buka ni kan. Tegang-tegang you boleh nampak jawapan dia. Tak apalah. You boleh lah try buat sendiri. Okay. Uh, all the checkpoints yang tadi. Okay. So kita akan, uh, we will continue uh, tomorrow. Okay. Betul eh? Tak ada soalan nak tanya? So kalau tak ada, I think we can end our session today with uh, Tasbih Kafara and Suratul Aus. Okay, thank you everyone. See you tomorrow. Thank you Miss. 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 Okay, welcome. Thank you Miss.